morning and I got the week kicked off. Uh, I had a little bit of time free this morning on the way to work. So I just stopped and got just a 25, 30 minute easy run. Um, I love this type of run. Um, I'm just keeping the heart rate really low. It's currently at 126, running at about 540 per kilometer. So almost no intensity at all. And uh, I find these runs are great for just cementing the hard work you do during the week and just get one of these really easy runs just to buffer out any lactate lining on the body and yeah help build those small capillary pathways to carry blood and therefore oxygen and energy and just keep you nice and fit and fantastic as well for keeping you injury free anyway that's my little nugget of information for a lovely crisp and icy Monday morning Wednesday morning out for a nice little run just an easy five miles again today might try and get a second one later on and have a bit of time hopefully just get an easy five as well I'm gonna try and make this week my highest volume week so far since Christmas so I should be able to get up around 70k all things going to plan um, hopefully life plays ball and allows me to get the runs I need um, yeah and then hopefully a 24k run on Sunday the following week will be a kind of a type week and then I have to half marathon the week after that so yeah we get up around 70 75 this week be absolutely delighted <laughs> This is St. Anne's Park and I think this is one of the nicest places to run in Dublin. It's just outside the city centre and it's beautiful. So, so far this year training's been going pretty well. Um, I've been getting some solid weeks, I've uh, been pretty consistent. I think uh, this week will probably round out I think 8 weeks of being over 50k so that's pretty good. And the kind of the philosophy that I've been using this year is like, you know, body's changing all the time and uh, I can no longer do things that I used to do, but I still feel that I still have a lot that I can I can gain from uh, my training. And uh, basically what I've been doing this year, and it's been working really well, is that uh, I try and run every day. I don't always get to run every day. I mean, most weeks I would get five or six days. Some days I get, some weeks I get seven, but not every week. And with my runs, I just always plan to go out easy. I just plan on going out and just doing an easy run. But some days I feel like I can kind of push it a little bit, so I do. And some days I feel like I can kind of push it a little bit more, so I go into it like an uncomfortable place. And I do that sometimes, but that's not very often. But nine times out of ten, I've just gone out and running easy. And uh, I'm not too worried about my pace when I run. I'm not too worried about my heart rate. Um, I just try and get the miles, just, just to feel comfortable. I just really need to, after having the last two years of having the illness and the, the stomach infection, that just kind of lingered on and on and on. Uh, I kind of every time I ran I would feel just really uncomfortable for so for these last couple of weeks even months uh, the plan has just been to just get out and enjoy it and just to feel comfortable again and I think I'm pretty much there now um, I'm enjoying almost every run I feel comfortable on the runs and now that I'm slowly beginning to push on some of the runs um, I feel comfortable doing that like it feels comfortable to go to, uh, into a into a place where um, probably last year the year before I would have just kind of being doubled over, you know, because I was getting anemic all the time, I couldn't breathe, and I was getting really frustrated because I just, I thought it was my fitness was just gone, I was never going to come back. But I can kind of feel it coming back now, for sure. Um, I ran last night, I just did an easy, uh, I think it was about 9k in top, but I just, I run this loop, it's, it's really easy for me, if I've had a really busy day in work, and um, I just want to go and run, I just turn my brain off, I just go to this one place and I just do loops, it's like, it's 700 meters and I just go round and round and round, and I don't mind that, some people hate it, but for me that's fine, I can just switch my brain off and just run, and last night I just kind of didn't even look at my watch, just kind of did a few loops, felt comfortable, a little bit of a push, but not major, and I ended up running at 450 average per kilometer, so that was good, and I think little signs like that show me that I'm getting back, because this time last year running at 450 would have been, you know, I, I wouldn't have gotten 9k, I would have been at some point stopped the run and been doubled over and breathing and like I said I was I was a bit of vomiting and retching. Anyway, that's all gone, that's all cleared up now so overall that's pretty good and that's just my philosophy since the year started and up until I do this half marathon in April, so I've got the half marathon next weekend, I'll go out that, I'll give it a bit of a push. I'll see how fast I can run the half marathon but I, if I'm around where I was last year at 134 I'll be absolutely delighted. 
Then I'll do the half marathon again in April. And again, I'm just going to keep my training like it is. I'll just kind of try and get that volume up to maybe above 80k or 50 miles a week leading up to that race. Do that. And then once that's finished, then I think I'll be really feel that I'm in a good place. I'll have a really solid grounded fitness. I'll be feeling kind of uh, back to where I was. And that will be the beginning of my sub three hour marathon training proper. But for now, I'm just going to keep it going the way I have been. Because like I said, I'm enjoying it. And I'm definitely feeling that I'm getting fitter. And I think I have a lot more still to gain from just doing that kind of constant, just easy runs. And when I say easy, it's kind of, for me, it's like just pushing the heart rate up to a point where I'm certainly below my my uh, my uh, my race pace and my, my threshold for uh, my lactate threshold. But it's just in that area of just get it done and enjoy it. Conversational, would, would easily be able to talk to somebody while I was running with them. Breathing is absolutely fine. Heart rate's usually around about 135 for me. That's right, right in the golden zone. Anyway, uh, out of here now. This is Friday afternoon. I'm going to go off and get a run and uh, try and keep up this mileage for the weekend.